the best ship the Navy has ever owned in the previous 30 years, a ship bearing the name of the World War II engagement for which the most medals of honor were awarded. A ship that was stronger after facing whatever the oceans could hurl at her. A ship that shattered records and established standards forced other ships to fight for second place. The ship that made her name known in naval history and is referred to as God's Cruiser across the fleet. Yes, we are talking about the USS Anzio, the ship that represents the legacy of the United States. In 2022, she marked the conclusion of a remarkable 30-year journey. Watch the entire video if you're interested in knowing more about her inspiring journey. A guided missile cruiser of the Ticonderoga class USS Anzio CG-68 served at the US Navy. She was given the name of a beachhead invasion that took place there from January 22nd to May 23rd, 1944. She's the second ship to be given the name Anzio in recognition of the beachhead invasion by the Allies at Anzio and Netuno in Italy during World War II. It is a modern guided missile cruiser that is 173 meters and 32.5 knots per hour. The ship was built in Norfolk, Virginia and was launched on November 2, 1990. It was commissioned for service on May 2, 1992. She was taken out of service on September 22, 2022. USS Anzio served in the Navy for nearly 30 years while being the strongest ship making a significant contribution to the nation. The sailors formed a strong bond with her, demonstrating that Anzio was one of the best. Over the course of her voyage from 1992 to 2022, several incidents occurred. Her backstory is fascinating. On April 6, 2000, Anzio with another cruiser and an aircraft carrier took part in an exercise in the eastern Mediterranean Sea, roughly 250 miles off the coast of Israel. Near an unannounced missile test, the Israel Defense Forces launched a Jericho-1 medium-range ballistic missile from a test station in Yavne, which landed 40 miles from the ship. The ship's radar picked up the missile and for a brief moment, the crew believed they were being attacked. And the rest is just memorable from here. Anzio was pre-deployed in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom on January 9, 2003. Anzio moved forward to the Persian Gulf after completing her task in the eastern Mediterranean. Anzio arrived in the Persian Gulf after spending 45 days non-stop at sea. Anzio kept up carrier flight support operations and coastal patrols in the Persian Gulf. Anzio was freed of her duty on May 1, 2003, the day President Bush declared that the main combat in the Iraq War has ended. She returned home on July 3, 2003 after 175 days at sea. She joined cruiser destroyer Group 8 in March 2003. Anzio participated in the annual Fleet Week in New York City in 2004. Three years later, in January 2007, the battleship was dispatched to the coast of Somalia as a member of the USS Dwight Task Force to perform anti-terrorist operations. Anzio received the 2006 Battle E Award on February 16, 2007. On June 25th and 26, 2008, Anzio was anchored at a participant at Booth Bay Harbor, Maine's Windjammer Days. Additionally, Anzio served as Combined Task Force 151's flagship while fighting piracy in the Horn of Africa, about 170 nautical miles southwest of Salala, Oman, on October 15, 2009. A team from the cruiser working with U.S. Coast Guard members from the Maritime Safety and Security Team seized a skiff carrying an estimated 4 tons of hashish, valued at an estimated $28 million. The boarding team released the boat's crew after destroying the narcotics by dumping them into the water. Anzio deployed Detachment 2 of Helicopter Maritime Strike Squadron 46 for operations in 2012. That certainly gave you goosebumps, didn't it? On March 31, 2013, Anzio was planned to be deactivated and earmarked for destruction. Anzio was, however, kept around for fiscal year 2013 under the National Defense Authorization Act. After being held in Iranian custody, 10 U.S. Navy sailors were picked up by Anzio on January 13, 2016 for transfer and medical assessments. The sailors were apprehended by Iran on January 12, 2016 after their two naval ships entered the Iranian seas. Anzio took part in the replenishment at sea operation as well. According to the U.S. Navy's report to Congress on the annual long-range plan for Navy vessel construction in December 2020, the ship was scheduled to be placed out of commission in reserve in 2022. 
Anzio was decommissioned on September 22, 2022 at Naval Station Norfolk, Virginia, following 30 years of service and a long journey. Her path was never any less than a film. The cruiser has been a vital piece of America's national defense policy for the past 30 years, and now you know why. In addition, the Anzio crew assisted Operation Iraqi Freedom by firing more than a dozen Tomahawk missiles while on duty. It acted as the flagship for Combined Task Force 151, which supported anti-piracy efforts off the coast of Africa. Tomahawk missiles were launched from USS Anzio for testing, and the results showed that the cruise missile could operate with better, more flexible mission planning capabilities. Anzio appeared in the 1996 Tom Clancy novel Executive Orders as a member of a task force escorting transport ships to Saudi Arabia. She also appeared in the 2011 video game Ace Combat Assault Horizon, where she participated in an aerial battle over Washington, D.C. before being sunk by Russian kamikaze pilots. In the Arclight novel by Eric L. Harry, Anzio fights Russian ballistic missile submarines in the Kara Sea. Don't you agree that she is unquestionably much more than an ordinary ship and made everyone proud? To update Anzio, the US Navy gave the aerospace firm Bay Systems a $45.3 million contract in December 2017. Over six months, the 567-foot cruiser underwent significant modifications and repairs, including replacing crucial metal structures. The decommissioning celebration took place shortly after the ship's 30th anniversary of commissioning after her excellent services. Numerous people showed up to honor the ship's historical past and military service. Retired Captain H. Wyman Howard Jr., Anzio's first commanding officer, recalled proudly how the ship was launched three decades ago. And finally, the most significant moment in Anzio's history occurred on September 22, 2022 and all the sailors who worked with her every hour, making sacrifices with great love and care, bid her final farewell in honor of her service. The ship will be taken to the Navy's inactive ship facility in Philadelphia as a logistic support asset after being removed from service. The crew of the USS Anzio decommissioned their ship in the presence of Plank owners, former crew members, and even families of Battle of Anzio veterans as a Naval Folk Norfolk ceremony. Did you like the video? Did the USS Anzio's voyage fill you with pride? Comment below. This brings us to the end of today's video. Don't forget to like and share the video as well as subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to never miss out on the latest updates.